creative space. And you guys are like, interestingly enough in the creative space, obviously on your own, like photography, film, we'll get into it. But also your job is like super legit on the back end. I feel like of this upper echelon of advertisement, but content creation for massive companies. And I feel like also you both share, you have your kind of like fangs, you know, in the zeitgeist of pop culture, you know, like you each, you know, and Fritz is more a kind of horror content horror like myself than you, Tom, but you know, you both have those talents, but you work for people that, you know, suck and exhume need those. our help. Yes. So can you, can you, can you tell your, your jobs? Just explain like what both of you do real quick. I mean, yeah. I don't um, even think I could explain it. Yeah. Real cool. job or a uh, real job or fake job? Real job. And then we'll get into you because right. you're popping, right? <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah. I work at a company called RGA. Um, it's a pretty large advertising agency. Mm -hmm. Uh, content creator, like sort of art director thing. Um, work on some some pretty large brands, and they kind of turn to me whenever there's like a, a big push for social. Um, like you said, it, I think it's like having your fangs in like sort of pop culture and zeitgeist. Like people turn to more of like young people to figure out like kind of what's popping and what's working and what people are going after. And even to dumb it down more, you your job is to help manage and produce content. Yeah. Advertisement pretty much on TikTok, on TV, on any what it's, social it's, media. Yeah, platform. the whole thing. But like everything is moving toward like it it has been for the last five years. I think everyone knows that it's moving towards social, but more so than that, it's like everything is stemming from TikTok right now. It's younger generations that are influencing young older generations. Mm -hmm. Um and it's just so funny. It's like the way that People have seen older people like latch onto Facebook as they, you know, it started as a younger like college connection platform. And right. now it's like the mean age is like 45. And so that's happening across all socials. I think Instagram, it's a similar thing. It's kind of slowing down and things are just happening different now. Mm -hmm. And brands want to latch on to the young people who are, you know, easily impressionable, mm -hmm. I think, um, to put it very bluntly. But um, yeah, that's what I do. I just help concept and make videos and stuff yeah. like that and you were previously working on gary's team uh yeah i worked at vayner before uh worked with great people over there very similar role just traveled a lot and worked with you know like a lot of c-suite execs to honestly like launch podcasts and mm -hmm. run their socials and figure out right. cool ways in that they can like tell their story yeah because it's funny i think it's a funny juxtaposition because i'm kind of doing that on my own like being the creator but you are being hired by you know people with money to you know do do it for them you yeah know, which is crazy and that's where we differ I and think. it's a good job you know these guys are humble but they both got pretty high up jobs in the industry the the thing about fritz and i is funny because fritz has always been like talent facing too mm -hmm. like he has no problem being talent where i'm just in the back end just yeah number number punching yeah but you were the like time. the thing is like again not to go on a tangent like my first camera i ever got was from you from kyle the t3i that's crazy and then you like you we, we and tom know each other since like middle school and like filming skating but then you got your gh4 with the crazy speed booster which i'm using that speed booster that's on that camera too. right now then i got the gh4 and then i dove into like all my youtube videos no autofocus like really got into videography so it was all stemmed from you and also tom is like the only person who ever has like edited a video on my channel it's like all me except you were the oh, main guy on the slab project i didn't yeah. know that about oh that's cool um so i don't owe it all to you at all i know but that. a little like a little 0.10 no, percent yeah. but you were always like the creative homie who was always doing it. and so that's why it's crazy that you're you know in the big industry now doing your job because this has been your life since skating in middle school yeah that was the thing too about like going to school like i mean i met fritz in school well not actually we actually knew each other like way before at that. uconn yes at yeah. uconn yep. but like we were on the same school bus in like first grade i don't know if you knew that uh, like, he lived like down no the road. you told me that you told me yeah. um i can't remember what i was saying uh your whole life has just been one big oh yeah so like orgy. yeah when i went to school <laughs> i you know didn't really know what i wanted to do after mm. and it was just like i latched back onto what i knew so well and yeah. it was like cameras like a lot of it stemming from skateboarding quite frankly and yeah just hop back into it started like assistant editing and then that's kind of like where i kind of got involved in like the city and was able to start yeah. meeting people and find new gigs yeah and yeah. yeah you're great and so fritz your turn pretty much same thing but a little different yep same thing uh you want me to explain real quick yeah just give yeah, this yeah. elevator pitch because yeah. i actually don't even know i mean i 
me and Fritz are like, are like new friends through Tom, but yep. I want the whole story. I want the back end. I usually steal all of Fritz's friends, but then I got to introduce you guys. So uh, cool. Yeah, yeah, no, it's funny how that works. Um, yeah, so I, uh, I'm a, I'm a creative director for a media company called Imagine, um, and I really, uh, my background is in advertising and mm -hmm. filmmaking. Um, and at this new spot, Imagine, I've been there for two months now. Um, I really lead uh, most of the creative for our branded partnerships. Mm -hmm. um, so Imagine is a really cool spot. It's uh, we uh, own a bunch of social media channels and then we sort of bring in brands through that way, which is a really cool new direction for me um, to be thinking about that. So uh, and one of my main focuses right now is I am running all creative direction on Levi's TikTok, which is wow. Um, really fun uh, and very different um, from the, what I'm used to. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's new, it's exciting, um, and it's it's a really cool space to be walking through uh, clients who have been around forever in a uh, in a way where I'm the expert in something that they have no idea. What, totally, dude. What they're, what they're talking about, and that now. leads me to the crazy thing that why I feel like you're some sort of AI industry plant is that you have this super legit job where you're creative director. For huge brands but you also manage your own social media and you're also your influencer yourself so fritz is like really big on tiktok you know has been absolutely killing it and i feel like that's so crazy that you have like it's your job the knowledge you got the job but then you're also just applying everything you know for your own branding and stuff where you were making money obviously from tiktok right and brand sponsorship so what is that like and you know is it was that always your plan or you just start like tiktok yeah. came up and you just you know oh i make films like i'm I'm making content anyways. Let me just start. And then it just kind of blew up. No, it's funny. Like sort of what Tom was res saying really resonated with me where, you know, after school, it was one of those things or even during school, you know, I went to school to be an engineer. Mm, that, really? Yeah, that just right. didn't work out. Um, and so I, f I fell back into what I knew and that was photography, filmmaking, yeah. uh, mostly through skateboarding uh, as well, just from way back in the day. Um, and now, you know, uh, I got a job at a college. Uh, I was an apprentice. Uh, I was doing social media planning. I was mm. writing. Um, I started taking photos, doing event photography, uh, celebrity photography. Um, and then one day, uh, a client that we had, Chipotle, was like, hey, have you guys heard of uh, TikTok? Mm. And we were like, yes. Immediately started Googling what it was, right? right? Um, kid next to me, you know, he, he goes, Oh, I got 300,000 views on TikTok. Like, no way is yeah. this kid sitting next to me about to get more views than me. Right. You know, just a no, little, little competitive thing there. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, I jumped on the platform. It was right, uh, 2019, White Claw was having a moment. There were right. there was those big White Claw yeah, shortages. Yeah, yeah. So jumped into that trend, made a bunch of videos um, about that. First video got 500,000 views. Second video got a million. First ever on TikTok. First ever. Yeah, that's crazy. And that's the beauty dude. of the platform, really. Is, uh -huh. uh, you can you can literally have, you know, come from nowhere, post a video, get millions of views, and you can capitalize on it, mm -hmm. or you can uh, or you can lose it um, and just forget about it. But uh, luckily, I capitalized on it, and I was able to uh, leverage it in my career that I was already uh, working at um, into something really cool. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. And I feel like, I mean, some, I mean, that's true. You can post anything on TikTok to go viral, but you also are like, you know, a, ahead of the curve, both of you. Like you kind of knew what you were doing within some sort of trend or whatever the high quality 30 second video. Like it was clearly mediumly, you know, um, like st brewed upon, you know, like you had an idea or oh, this could be trendy, blah, blah, blah. And now I feel like that's every one of your videos. You know, it's almost very, your videos are like surgical in that way mm -hmm. they're fun and dear their yeah. lifestyle or whatever but like they're pretty you know you are clearly on like the understanding level of social media or what would be pushed forward or what would be like brand awareness you know savvy blah 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 right like i'm not trying to suck your dick too hard <laughs> but let's be honest here like but that's the way you have to talk about it. it to to clients i talk, yeah. i bring this up in meetings all the time i'm like i don't post videos myself but like I don't know one person in my friend circle that like is not popping right now. Mm -hmm. And it's just like osmosis. It'll yeah. be just like yeah, hanging yeah. with him and Henry, like they're working on something. And then literally someone's knocking on our door and being like, we got to pitch this client. Like, what are we doing on TikTok? And then that's like, that's crazy. And it's literally, it, it's just, I'm like, he's just, Fritz, uh, I need this, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> but then you're hitting us up yeah. too about things. <laughs> That's like, so awesome. yeah. it's all, and it's so funny. It's so back to where I'm like, I got this buddy there, like, you can't really ask him, you're not paying him. I'm like, you don't get it. Like, TikTok's not like that. Like, like, 
like just let me do this. It's almost like insider trading. No, it is. You, it is. I mean, you for your but you like no, you're doing your own. You got the job. It's like it's all it's the same. It's all the same thing. The amount of phone calls I make in a day when I get stuck on something with a roadblock, whether mm. it's like I call a creator, I call Tom, or you know, it's literally me, Tom, and Henry. Apparently, uh, no, but you know, it, there's there's so many ways. There's you, Jordan. Yeah, Jordan. I don't uh, know him that well, but Slewis. Jordan. Yeah, the Slu. I, I call my friend Victoria. I call her almost daily with questions on stuff damn and that's like, crazy you know it's it's a it's a thing it's it's a tool you know networking uh is such a tool and it, i feel like whenever you think about networking right you 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 think back to if you went to school like mm. those things that the your school would host right like yukon I, I worked in the career center so i actually hosted those things um they would and you think business suits and men right. exchanging you know cards it's like no networking these days is now I have friends yeah. and all of them do the same thing as me totally. and they can, I can call them up and we can make something and mm-hmm. that's networking. Dude, right. that's how Chris Cold DM'd me. I yep. like posting some video. Look, I'm trying to start a podcast, like looking for help. He literally was like, yo, I manage a podcast. Like I would love to check it out. I'm moving to Brooklyn also. I was like, sweet, slide through and just worked out. So like, cool, baby. That's modern that's day sick. networking. That's, that's literally it. it. That's what and it is. And that's how you get jobs also, right, Chris? Yeah, mm-hmm. he's saying yes, how it got Saul's job. And that's crazy. And that's what it is. But also, I want to, I really want to dumb this down because obviously yeah. you guys are experts and like it's almost innate. And even for me, it's sometimes hard to follow what you guys are saying. But like it, the more we talk, like, because I feel like, you know, it's obvious to us, especially in the city and we're kind of at that age. But like a lot of people, they're like, what are you talking about? Like you can make money from TikTok or even like me. It's like, oh, you can make money from YouTube and all this stuff. And, or like big companies are hiring you guys to make TikToks. You know, it almost sounds like yeah. people aren't aware, I feel like sometimes. So I, I do want to like, you know, tend to the people who are just like so unaware of it all. Yeah, no, it's it's crazy. I think there's been a major shift in the industry too, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and we started to see it with Instagram and we really saw it with TikTok is um, now these companies, they rely so heavily on, you know, the spender, the Gen Z, who are, who's having the conversation, who's the loudest. And Gen Z happens to be the loudest and the hardest to understand, right? Mm. It's like everyone is, I remember the conversations we, at my old agency, we were always like, what is Gen Z thinking, right? What is it? And, you know, and this is to get them to buy shit. And yeah, to, it's to get, it's just get them to, to target, buy, target yeah, advertisement. Gen Z controls the internet. There's yeah, no doubt about totally. it. You know, they are they are who is con- who's consuming what we make. Mm-hmm. You know, that consumes what I make, consumes what you make. Yeah. Um, they are the ones watching this. They are the ones that are. You know, if we if you have merch, if you have a product, they are probably the ones buying it, getting their parents to buy it for them. Right. Um, and they are the ones sharing it. So they are very, um, they are a very target heavy uh, audience that we all. Uh, in the industry, advertising uh, are really looking at and trying to understand, trying to talk to them in a way that does not come across as buy my product. Right. You know, yeah. you, you need to be authentic. Totally. And, uh, Gen Z is so good at sniffing out inauthenticity. Yeah. I, I was going to say the same thing. Like younger generations, I guess a younger generation than us, like because they grew up with the iPhone now, it wasn't like we had cell phones that weren't iPhones and went without social. And being delivered ads is just like, oh, but exactly. you could, the younger generation can sniff it. They sniff it so much yeah. faster because they yeah. their their brain is like conditioned to only be attracted to like people who are speaking directly to them in mm. an authentic way. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, they're because there's all this like market data. We're always talking to like Mark side people about like w- like gen z being like the most confident in who they are and that like is not typical of a younger generation like you know the most uh you know like non-gender conforming generation Mm. to ever be right you know like there's plenty of other things that go into that but like not go into that i just mean like there's a there's a number of other things that are like identifiers of like how you can be independent yeah and um gen z is just you it, you have to be like it's like a razor thin margin that you have to like strike this note with them in order for it to make sense and we were the we were a group of people like in high school and college where it's like influencer marketing it's like the girl on the beach in the bathing suit mm-hmm. stuff holding the product yeah that does not work like that just does not, not work yeah. it's like so they they just sniff it out and they know when they they can tell when and a so brand when you is say sniff it out and you're saying like their conversions are way shitty or the analytics are just obvious that it's not working anymore so the strategy needs to be changed that and when it, when it when it hits it hits yeah you know? so like it's obvious you can see and your companies are getting this back end 
information about whether it hits or not oh yeah yeah you can see it because that's like a nebulous statement i'm like again you have to like dumb it down for everyone here no you could see it in you know conversions or uh a lot of a lot of plays for most companies you know they might not necessarily be focusing on conversions on tiktok just like brand awareness just engagement and awareness yeah making sure your brand is cool right they don't even need to buy something they're not even driving people to a product it's just awareness even Mm -hmm. another thing that's like what you're spending so much money just for but it it all you know it all has the same effect end of the yeah, day is yeah. like you know um, it, if I'm going yeah. to CVS to buy shampoo what am I going to buy Pantene or this other thing I yeah. saw that's popping yeah exactly damn that's wild that's so crazy so do you guys like it you're enjoying it yeah I mean you're pretty good jobs you both actually you just got a new job yep found it thanks man and time you got a little promotion it's good it's wor- works good my dogs I mean, are eating we also like to do other stuff besides work can we talk about that absolutely stuff? Yeah, please yeah, i just want to get that that was like the time. the basis of the podcast because right. i i want no, to just I i'm not trying to smoke both your sandwiches but tom and fritz are super legit and also tom's been like like inside man for youtube and like you know because he was working at Vayner Media, which is like Gary's team and i've followed gary for years who does like all that social media and the entrepreneur self-made like put out content, blah, blah, blah. Eat shit till you're 27. Like I did that. I lived at home. I did, you know, not to say that Gary is my Lord and savior, but, and then Tom worked for him. I'm like, that though. and I was trying to convince Tom for years to just like quit and work for me, but I have nothing to offer other than these sweaty podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come over and do these. So what, are, what, what else are you into that you like to do? Because we talked about how Fritz is like, you have similar jobs, but Fritz is literally, literally on the front page of TikTok, making his own content, you know, blowing up also, being almost an ambassador for other creators and collaborating with other TikTokers, but you don't really do your own. You're not really an influencer, but you're still a you know freelance videographer. Have all the skills. Have been yeah. taking photography. So and I take pride in that. I'm like I don't really you know I've never been that great in front of a camera. I don't think I do a lot better behind the camera, yeah, and I also do. like like to direct things. Yeah, I have like a vision for things, mm-hmm. and I'm not in those visions. I yeah. like to bring them to life other ways. Hell yeah um yeah because you directed a couple like music videos or things here and there yeah and like again it's like all these all these video concepts that we'll have to come up with for like work or whatever are it's it's inspired by everything that i'm taking in every day too right so that is like i don't know it's crazy it's crazy to have an opportunity to take insights that i'm taking from my real life where i don't have to work any harder Mm. i'm absorbing the content anyway right and then i turn around and i say hey here's the idea and then you serve it to them on a platter and it's like, oh, great, it's working. Yeah, I mean, that's like insane. Yeah. And especially if you can like be creatively fulfilled from that. Or even just like I'm like chilling with them and we're at lunch and they're talking about something. I go back home and I'm like, I got this idea. <laughs> like, You're a genius. Tom. <laughs> exactly. You I'm like, yeah, this? it just came from. But that's well, how you directed uh, my second uh, the fir- the second video of mine to hit a million. Oh, uh, the phone in the butt one. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll Cloud, oh white, yeah, 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 white, yeah, yeah. White yeah. Cloud, genius. This, that was all Tom. Tom. I forgot about that. Tom that was like feel like a trend. But like, uh, you were yeah, but, one of the but first Tom, to do that. Tom adapted it in a way that I did not even. Anticipate. So that was the thing. Tom so calls. Tom run calls. It, bro, run it. Yeah, Tom I, calls me. Yeah, go and ahead. he goes and he goes. I'll let you explain the idea. I'll just explain how it came into be. But uh, Tom calls me and he's like. Dude, I have an idea, and he, he like tries to explain. <laughs> I was it. in like a panic. Yeah, yeah, I know. He was like, he, he was, he, was cool. he was like urgent. He was he like, saw it. he was like, I have an idea. I'm oh, coming man. over. It was like Friday night, and I'm like, this is not my posting schedule. Like, I had hit, I had started to like Let's figure out how you were trying like, to not yeah. let it. You were no, you were I did, I was not interested at all. That's and uh, Tom was like, I'll buy the white claws. Like, I'll film it. Let's go. And I was like. I was I was just gonna humor him and like film it and like you know mm-hmm. and just be like this is trash. But then I saw it and I was like I don't know. And then a couple of white claws later, he's like just post it. I was like all right, all right, I'll post I it. I feel like when I saw it, I was like oh my god, it's the funniest. Yeah, thing. it was, it was it, great. It's, it's so like, quick. As it's soon like, as what, ten seconds, I was just you know I was worried about like you know it was my third or fourth video in TikTok and I was trying to get into this space and see it'd be how like it serious. Played. You're saying yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. I was taking it seriously and yeah. I was I was worried. I was like, my numbers on everything else are good. Like this better pop. And then Tom was like, trust me, trust me. And so then I'll let you explain the video. No, I, I think you're going to show it. Yeah, but like I, I, the thing about it was uh it was like too perfect not to work mm-hmm. like i like i had already seen the phone thing that you were referencing yeah, yeah, yeah. he was already making white claw content mm-hmm. and 
it was just like it was this is like pre pandemic. Right? It was definitely. Uh, yeah, yeah it's before. 20 it was summer 2019. So yeah, it's like yeah, it's like yeah, white cloth season. Like yeah, they are yeah. like just getting big market share or whatever. Not that that has anything to do with the video, no, but, they're but like they're especially like TikTok I feel like blew it up even more. Exactly. And and I just remember like taking over your laptop. I was like, I need your laptop. Give me after <laughs> effects. Even, We're going to do this even, right now. Didn't even come with his own laptop. Yeah, I didn't even show my own laptop yeah, yeah. and edit it right there. And then I just remember the next day too. I don't know what I was doing, but we were walking around the city and I just like kept checking your page and I was like, oh my God. No, dude, it started to hit that night. Remember? It did it, go that yeah. night. I just remember looking the How next day. How many takes? It Was it one take? It was no, like four or five. Maybe. I don't remember. It did take a minute. So fast. He didn't even funny, you dude. didn't even understand the video concept until you literally saw the final version. Yeah. I was like, it's gonna work. I was like, it's gonna work. I, I was like, I was ex- I had I had my doubts, I will I will admit. But like once we posted it, I think in the first hour it had like 10, 20,000 views, and I was like, oh shit, it's going. And then you know, we were uh bar hopping that night. So it's I going. woke up, my phone was like plastered on my face somewhere, and I woke up and I was like, Why does it have nine hundred thousand views oh on it? Oh my god. That's crazy. So I think I got like a couple hundred thousand more. And it's also like, it's funny because it looks like you're being held hostage in it too, which is like the other part. I was like telling him to do this over and over, so he yeah, just looks so sad. My too. face like, my face, I'm just like, you could tell I, I was just like, you end so up with stupid. A, it's really good. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good video. That's, have you seen it? Have you seen it? Oh, you found uh, it? Yeah. You it up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It. <laughs> <laughs> You're like so disappointed yeah, yeah. at the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was uh, that shit's too good. funny, dude. How many oh. likes does that have right now? Uh, weird. The, oh. Weird, weird ratio. That's all yeah. I remember. Like tons of views. Oh, I don't know the ratios for TikTok. Ratio should be around a third. Really? Mm-hmm. So yeah. So a million should be like three hundred thousand. Yeah, that was a weird. That was Damn. a weird. I remember thinking that was a weird, but. Whatever. It must have hit some sort and of... And so, it, this was not the first White Claw thing, but was this one of the things? Because then you started work, you did stuff for White Claw, like they reached out to you. Is this the of, one that did it or no? That is what we sent to them. Because uh, <laughs> is that, that that's like I, what I don't understand. What you were saying is like, does this... Does this brand want this content for them? They, they Getting didn't, millions of they views. didn't want no, they didn't want the content. <laughs> yeah. Um, but they were really stoked. Uh, they're like, hey, this kid might have other things. That- <laughs> no, they're they're really stoked. Um, and White Claw had a crazy fun program. Uh, they still do called the Wave Makers, where they invited their like top fans mm. to a random trip in Kansas. To be I- clear, wait, alcohol <laughs> brands cannot do like any sort of influencer marketing for um, like, I think well, I, I think, think they can TikTok, on Instagram right? yeah but on TikTok, not on TikTok. they can't pay Wait, but what do things. you mean uh tick they TikTok can't actually and, pay for an advertisement well on TikTok, TikTok and yeah. like oh, because adver- of the yeah, age yeah, 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 yeah. I think really? potentially being a Chinese like owned company FDA. too I don't know don't, it's, but it's someone both. fact check that wow that's interesting someone fact check that but alcohol brands cannot be on TikTok I know that for certain um but yeah but they can do they can give you like a trip Exactly. And then, so yes, yeah, so okay. they they invited me out on oh, this like segment. thank you trip, which was yeah, really a fun. Tiptoe thing. Yeah. I think. And, uh, Here's a Rolex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, yeah, there was it was you know, and then they flew me out to a bunch of random places, and now I you know, it was fun. So, so all through TikTok, th- uh, that was all through TikTok, and Crazy. that was my first foray into being a quote unquote. I don't even refer to myself as this, but like. As in influencer. Oh my God! Don't you know? say that. Word. I don't consider that me. Either. No, me I know you, but like yeah. there are perks. There you. That get, word is just so fucked. There's bro. like so influencer. There's shitty. like there's like influencer benefits, right? Where you get totally. paid to do something, you get paid to show up, and it's like it's weird, you know, having run influencer relations and like created all these events for influencers, mm-hmm. all this blah blah blah, and now it's like it's weird being invited to these things. Yeah, and it's like, and they're like. And then, or like, I had a phone call this morning uh, with a brand that wants me to do something for a product of theirs. And they're like, they're like, uh, they're like, you know, treating me like uh, an influencer. And I was like, hey, and I just stopped them. I was like, hey, um, I do your job. Like, I got, I got it. Like, yeah. yeah I, was right. like, I was like, it's not going to be bad. Trust me. That's well, dude, where that's he a, wins. That's, yeah. yeah, but that's people don't know. It's like, that's how crazy it is. It's like, they oh, just yeah. think you're just like this kid who like is addi- addicted to this phone. Little do they know you're literally the creative director of a huge company for their exact job that they're paying you for. Oh, like, it's yeah. like a fucking paradox. Dude. Oh, it's, it's hilarious. It's and crazy. I, and I, I just don't talk about it on the internet. Dude. Yeah. Well, I who, who would know unless and, they know yeah, you, right? Yeah. But so like, yeah, me too. It's like, I guess I am like, that's such a loose term, an influencer. But like, you know, I have sponsorships now. I have like a year contract with some brands to do a video every month. I have other people. But it, so 
but like so how would if you i mean i'm not trying to put you in a box just like i don't want to be in a box i think categories are good to explain things but so what would you say what is your agenda on tiktok to make money right or to um, also have fun be creative like it's a pie yeah. chart of all those things right yeah uh, tiktok was originally to have fun um and i had a lot of fun on it and still do right it, yeah still it's still to a to an extent right um it's it's now TikTok has become such a part of my life business wise that right. I, I look to uh, I look elsewhere now for inspiration um, mm. just because it's it's so mainstream that, you yeah. know, it's it's and how less quick of a, that turned for you. Probably, yeah, right? exactly. And um, but, you know, TikTok's still great. I still have a lot of friends from it um, and I still try to post a video every now and then and do something crazy. I've got yeah. a bunch of stuff in the works. Um, and Dude, I try your videos to do, are so sick. I appreciate it, man. And I try to do bigger projects um, so I can't just like crank them out um but yeah Wait, what was the question again like how would you def <laughs> like what's the point like oh how, well, say, how would i i would just i would define myself as like a director yeah um so and tiktok is almost like a it's almost like a analogy like a sketchbook almost for ideas and yeah and also i think it's like weirdly like you we were saying before it's like almost a literal uh, networking system like you've met homies oh, and it's, other creators it's so and like minded individuals like we didn't meet through social media we met through mm -hmm. tom but it's also still like it's we easy. do the same thing. I'm yeah. trying to hang with you. More people who are in this world, creative professionals. It's like yeah, an that, opening door. And that's the thing, especially with TikTok. The, so, you know, like I said, it all goes back to networking. Um, and it's like, yeah, like I was already going to be like, oh, you got to meet my buddy Jordan. You'd love him. He lives around this area. Yeah. He's got a workshop. Um, his workshop's he, crazy. What do you mean a workshop? Like a photo workshop? No, like a actually he's a builder. Stats. Like he's a builder. Oh, he really? Builds, he builds stuff. It's he built yeah. his entire room. I like, love building. He's bro. awesome. Built so you'll have, to, you'll have to meet, you'll have to meet, you have to meet Jordan. <laughs> you're, yeah. you're not going to believe this place. It's insane. I love that. Yeah. Dude. I want to go he's so got, bad. Yeah, it's crazy. But anyways, uh, Jordan, so what I, what go, where I'm going back to is, TikTok is an amazing networking tool because yeah. <laughs> it's so different. The content is so different than anywhere else. Yeah. These TikTokers, these people are really so down to meet. Mm -hmm. um, you know, granted, the, the, uh, the, the average TikToker age is usually lower um, than uh, I'm old, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. We're <laughs> and so, old. Yeah, yeah. You're so old. We're all yeah, 26. We're all, right? Yeah, we're 26. Right, yeah. Yeah. So we're all, we're old. Crazy. We're old as hell. And it's cool Sad. sort of being in this position where it's like we can give these like tiktokers advice on you know career it's which is like well, weird. it's like why are you coming and you know why are you Crazy. coming to me for career we still advice have to yeah figure our shit out yeah know? well everyone everyone has to figure it out and totally unless you pretend you've like you've already figured it out no, which yeah. Is, yeah, it's just <laughs> that's part of the key um and tom you were trying i mean this was way best in the past you were trying to do a little podcast talking talkers right dude i was i and i thought it was a great idea and everything i yeah. thought it was a great idea i don't know because it was so early to my knowledge i don't think there's anything that exists out there well, yet. well bffs be is kind of like sort of yeah it's drama i mean it's just another version of drama for right. social media like right. be uh like frenemies right, or right, right. any drama podcast but they're killing it i mean it's centered around tiktokers the upper echelon of the famous tiktokers yeah. i actually had one interview for it tim montgomery i don't know if you remember that kid, i think that you sent comedian. me i think you um, sent me did you you did a full one I did a full yeah, full record. It was all yeah. gonna be over because it was like pandemic kicking off, like everyone is remote anyway, kind mm -hmm. of thing. So it would have just made sense to do a remote remote podcast with all these creators around the world. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was flying back from Australia one time and I I made this whole deck, this whole presentation to like try and get people involved or even just like get myself in the mood to like want to do this thing. And yeah. I showed exactly, you know, how all the social posts were gonna look and how it all be designed and everything. And um yeah, I never ended up doing it. It was just like I was too busy. And then the pandemic happened and it was right. like like w the world was falling apart. Mm -hmm. But it would have been a cool idea. I think I opened like the Anchor account and everything. And oh, well. another life. It's it sailed. It's fine that it's, I mean, I think my life would have changed a lot. But it's, Dude, I, I, I thought it was a good idea. Good. But just because I think there was. Did you ever see that deck? Uh, I think I bought a website after it, after watching the deck. You bought a website to secure it. I saying? buy domains almost yeah, constantly. He, yeah, he that's buys smart, bro. Time. Have you sold some? Uh, no. <laughs> really? You haven't? Well, that's smart, <laughs> dude. No, because I, I was trying to get slew.com. Yeah. GoDaddy was like, "Oh, Wonder yeah, it. let's research it. We'll get back to you in a week." And they're like, "Yeah, this is available for forty three thousand dollars." Yep. I was like, four characters. Eat it's, it's sand, insane, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Give and you. I got Slewniverse for nineteen ninety nine. Let's go. Brought to you by GoDaddy. That's it. 
GoDaddy or are you, are you on Squarespace? They this is an incredible a- advertisement for them. Besides how you, yeah, you yeah, said, cut the- I'm trying to get told them to eat sand, but that <laughs> last part. No, I told GoDaddy that was good. No, Squarespace is a good sponsor. Yeah, yeah. They sponsor a lot of YouTubers. They haven't no, gotten. No, you yet. said GoDaddy. You told them to eat sand. I don't so fuck GoDaddy. fuck GoDaddy, dude. I don't want them. Fuck them. Dude, I'm trying to find my websites. Dude, Shout that's Squarespace. My website shit, is Squarespace. Fritz, that you just bought because the people sold stamps.com for like sixty million dollars. Uh, people b- sold diapers.com for like a hundred million dollars. I recently, I well, okay, I I have to say, um, I don't buy really good websites. I recently acquired You're a weirdo, and then. created um, <laughs> onlyfritz.com. <laughs> That one is really so good. Stupid. That one's really good. Wait, this one's really good. I'll, show them the show them the landing page. You can bring oh, it up. That's so yeah, 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 pretty good. Cool, yeah, onlyfritz.com. Is this it one. in your bio on? That's no, really no, no. I wish. So I might monetize this at some point. <laughs> but like that, that, that's pretty good. Like yeah, we'll put that on. The yeah, yeah, it's pretty powerful. It, oh, it's public. Yeah, dude, that I'm like sweating from all pores. Oh, <laughs> only for it. <laughs> it's pretty good. Is there anything else but the landing page? No. <laughs> No, (laughs) (laughs) it's pretty good. All right, but I want to stay on podcast real quick. Okay, because what do you think about podcast? Because in my opinion, not only did I I I listen to a crap load, like I paint a lot, so I'm just constantly listening to podcasts. You know, Mm. like audiobooks don't work for me because I need to focus. Podcasts, I can just put them on. I love. I listen to like this probably the most podcasts you've ever met. Someone watching is me. Wow, that sentence came out like Yoda, (laughs) but. (laughs) Like, seriously, like, I'm not trying to, like, crystallize my podcast game, but I've watched thousands in the past two years, and I love them. And I feel like these hour-long conversations don't happen in real life, but for we got TikTok that is 20 seconds, 30 seconds, yeah. short form, and now we got podcasts, which is long form, and podcasts mm-hmm. are blowing up. Mm-hmm. So long, what do you think about that in the social media game? Yeah, long form's a, long form's a very interesting discussion. Yeah, uh, and I love it. We... At my old agency, we really did pay attention to a lot of long form stuff and try to form partnerships there. It's a, it's, you know, the viewers there aren't maybe as many as you could find on like, you know, traditional social media, uh, Mm -hmm. which is like such a, there's no such thing as traditional social media anymore. Everything's so evolving. But, uh, um, like the, the number of uh, like TikTok or Instagram. Yeah, exactly. But the, the retention rate. Of long form is really high. You could drop mm-hmm. twenty advertisements on mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they're gonna stick around because they they know you, they love you, they want to hear what you're saying. It's like a, it's not it's not a movie, but it's it's yeah. that long. Well, what I was gonna say is for for short form, and we're talking about TikTok, like that requires your attention. There's like minute details mm-hmm. and things that make it funny or interesting. Mm-hmm. Whereas long form and specifically podcasting is like passive. Mm-hmm. Like you don't have to give it the full attention right. and you can be mm-hmm. doing other things. That's a great kind of separation. And it's like listening to music. It's like, I mean, you know, I can't listen to music and like read, for instance, there are people that can do that, but I don't like, it's the same I can't. thing. You couldn't listen to a podcast and read no, at the same time, but there's other things you can be doing that you can't just like, you know, when you're watching something, your eyes are glued to the screen. You're not mm-hmm. like, you know, cooking at the same time, you know? I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm a terrible uh, person to be talking about this because I don't really watch podcasts. It's fine. I watch uh, the I watch podcasts when like a girl tells me like, oh, you should watch this podcast. Yeah. I'm like, oh, shit. Put I in the R&D. Con- R&D. I need like conversation yeah. topics. But what I was saying is like, I just spent a arm and a fucking leg on all this shit for the podcast and it's like i'm not trying to just be make money like maybe after a year if it becomes successful yeah those sponsorships will roll in but right now i just love the the format the long form talking obviously you guys are my homies but the opportunity to have other people in brooklyn other young professionals Mm -hmm. friends of your friends of your friends you know gotta get jordan on the podcast he's gonna be a great guest he's got a crazy back jordan and victoria would be a fire combo yeah that'd be great I'd love it, of course, but like that's what like that's why I'm excited because it's like I love it. I watch so many and I, I I I love to talk. It's like very almost egotistical to talk about yourself or try to navigate conversations with other creatives. But it's like Tom's so fun. texting his cat. Yeah, Does anyone yeah, want to know White, what was Bob, happening? Bob White. I just saw Bob, him Bob texting White. his you could cat. Drop him on what? The that's not the full thing. What is it? Bob, Bob White. White Counter Cat. Counter is Cat. His full handle. Yeah, he, and he's part human. He's lit. Mm. Uh, that's your one social media slutation that you have. People, I was, I've do, been waiting to bring this up, and yes. that was like a really natural way to bring it up. Was I saw you texting that cat? People yeah. love Bob. Well, people like, love cats. Let's put that out. People there, love but. cats, but there's also this 
like he doesn't really make words like he does he does he's personified but doesn't yes, make any words exactly he'll like try to say things and we'll be like okay we can put it in the copy mm-hmm. but like this is spelled wrong and he'll tell us you know like and he wants to share he wants to say. and he wants to share he's like he loves polls on stories <laughs> like he's always posting polls about like him whatever like an emoji or two and yeah he's the best i mean he's scared of fritz i think but he rocks it on social. He's he, one of those fake. I feel like ones. he's warming up to me. That cat. Yeah, he's chill. That cat does not come near me. Really? Not at all. You kind of have like a cat vibe, also. Maybe super, you're like an super, opposite cat. You're allergic, super allergic to cats, right? To cats. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. But that's that's yeah. the weird thing. Cats love me. Bob really? hates me. Yeah. Bob so. is not a cat, though. That's what I'm saying. He's more of no, like that, a that, that that cat is an animal. anthropod. You know? We'll never meet your heroes. You know what I mean? Like he's <laughs> Dude, he's one of those people all the time. He's one of those people. You pull up on him, he is gonna do not meet your heroes, bro. Ever, you'll be let down. Yeah, every time. But on IG, he's going crazy. He's popping. Yeah. Follow Bob White. Do you think you've uh, you're anyone's hero, and have they met you, and have you let them down, dude? I mean, that's a good kids question. Kids DM me crazy things. Yeah, a lot. Like well, I'm sure paragraphs about you're my favorite art. Like I'm not trying to like toot my own horn. It's wonder. It's really not, dude. It's so crazy because like not to get deep, but like I was that exact kid five six years ago, following artists on YouTube, muralists. I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. That's what I want to do. DMing them like you know like I'm just like I'm making the videos I'm doing the things that I was obsessed with when I like five six years ago when I was 18 19 mm-hmm. and so when kids hit me up saying all that shit or like I'll drop out of school to sweep your floors or work for you like can you just give me an internship or like I'd love to just shadow you I'm like I can't do that but I, I give them so much love I respond mm-hmm. to everyone yeah. because it's like I was that exact kid and those kids I was that exact or those kid. people that you hit up back then are you friends with them now? Like those people that you once reached no, out to? No, but there's, a, there's actually a crazy story. This really famous artist, actually, his name's Rhyme, MSK. If people know graffiti, I know people probably don't know graffiti, but like one of the most OG graffiti heads. Mm. Um, MSK is one of the biggest um, clans, mad society kings. Like if people know, they know. But And a lot of these old graffiti heads who like bombed all the cities, all, were all city, New York, whatever, I mean, around the world. They're now huge studio artists, like canvas work, selling yeah. their paintings for thousands and thousands of dollars. But I basically, he's one of my favorite artists. I DM'd him a lot. This was like 2018. Like when I was, before I went to Parsons, actually. 2018? 2018. That's not even that long ago. That's like like three years. Yeah, I guess That's kind of long. Anyways, but I I basically, I literally said that. I was like, dude, like I'm a huge fan. Like I'm, I'm good at videography. I have all these things. Like I would love to just like shadow you. You don't have to pay me. Like I'll do anything you need in your studio to help me out, to help you out. And he was basically like, oh, that's chill. And he started talking to me. And then he was like, come to my studio. Like, come for a studio video. It was in Brooklyn. He now lives in Paris. But this was in 2018. He was like, come to the studio. Like, let's talk. Like, we could just hang out. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, that's crazy. So I went to his studio. He was super nice. It, was, it wasn't like a don't meet your heroes moment. But it was, he was super nice and generous and, like, really cool. And he let me, we chilled for, like, four hours. But he was way different than I thought. Yeah. Not in a bad way or a good way. It's just, like. I was like, this is my, I don't know. I thought he was like, oh, now I'm going to work for whatever. But the whole experience was way different than Mm -hmm. I thought. Mm -hmm. And it was, it wasn't weird, but it was just such an, it was, it was that moment. It was like, wow, I can't believe I'm meeting him. I can't believe he said yes. It was just me and him. And he's huge. Like he's super well known. Um, Just like hanging in the studio, which was amazing. Talking about art and talking about his life. And it was like very personal. It was weird. It was just bizarre, but. Mm-hmm. Um, what was the question you said of that? That was the only situation that happened, but yeah, I don't know. So if if people are DMing me, like <laughs> yeah. they want to come and yeah, like hang with me, maybe you'll bit. be let down. I yeah, mean, this, yeah. nothing but love to this homie Rhyme. If he's randomly watching this, he was super generous to me, and like I would ho- only hope to be as generous as that to some other kid and people who want to. People have already come to the studio, and I've talked with them, just random people. But maybe you could do a new segment uh, on your podcast where it's like I let people down. <laughs> you, you invite a fan so in. You invite a fan week. in. You invite a fan in, and then you just are <laughs> shitty. Oh, oh. Dude, it's like <laughs> set your expectations yeah, yeah. low. Uh, yeah, I you think it's like I mean. you just go solo, and it's like, all right, this week on who I let down, you just go into your DMs, Jesus. and you're like, I just That's didn't even so respond terrible. to this kid. No, I try to respond to everyone. I but know you do. You're good about that. Do you have prompts set up? I have, no, a bunch I, of, I have a ton of prompts because I get I get the what camera do you shoot on? Oh, that's and smart. So I've that's got, smart. I've got prompts that mm-hmm. redirect to blogs that I've written That's in detail for these kids yeah. that like answering these questions. And my, my go-to, some, like I can't, I'd probably get maybe like 200 DMs a week and my go-to is just much love. 
thanks. Or people, a lot, one of the most things is like, check out my work. Like I'm an aspiring artist. Like, can you critique my work? And I'm just like, keep killing it. Much love. Oh. Like <laughs> you're just like, no. <laughs> well, dude, it's like, I'm not going to say no. Or it's even like just hearting it. Yeah. It's like kind of scummy. It's like, yeah, I'm going to say right, something right, like, right. keep grinding, like keep grinding, keep blah, blah, right. blah, blah. Um, but yeah, so say your expectations low. I'm just a person. <laughs> Maybe you don't really know. Should I go live on Instagram right now and get some questions? Yeah, let's do it. That's such a good idea. Are we recording? Yeah. We're recording. All right, cool. Let's All right, live. so we're going to go live on Instagram. This is so meta to be like recording, getting live feedback, and then posting How later. do you go live? Oh, I got it. You've never gone live? No, I have. Oh, okay. I feel like you went live like last week. <clears throat> no, I go live on Patreon. Oh. Uh, You're now live. All right, let me switch this. How do you do it? Uh, dude, you think Guys, I go live on Instagram? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> meanwhile, yeah, meanwhile, Tom and I, I'm Tom and I are just, we're just like, yeah, we're <laughs> Mavics of the internet. Dude, how do we there pin the comment? <laughs> All right, guys, we're we're mid podcast. I'm with Tom and Fritz. Um, we're talking about social media. We're talking about TikTok. They are industry plants. For uh, no, I'm just kidding. Whoa. But we're 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 recording a podcast right now. So ask some questions, and we're gonna try to answer it about social media, about business, about pretty much anything. Here, maybe we could set this up, Chris. So hit, it, like... hit it on the Schweppes. Oh yeah, you maybe you could re- maybe this, you could face uh, it towards us and, Schweppes, and read. Let's go let the code. So oh, ask nice. questions. Can they hear us? I'm What's sure they can. What's your favorite stand? Uh, Cuban, probably. I wow, love a Cuban. that was so quick. That was um, nice. Well, I, I mean, w- I love everything, but it's like I worked at a deli uh, in high school, and there was one sandwich that I loved. It was chicken cutlet, Swiss lettuce, onion, Russian, and bacon on a roll. That's fire. And it is from Pine Creek. Oh yeah, and um, yeah, and T there used to make them bomb. Shout out to T if she's somehow watching this. They so good. All right, but there also for people live, this might be redundant, but we got industry professionals within social media content creation, the back end. So any questions around? Help me out here, guys. Uh, TikTok, advertising. TikTok, advertisement, cameras, computer, yeah, what's life after college. What is Ooh, that's a good call. That Maybe like, that's under my. Question. He's got it. Or you. I was going to say not me. I think I for no especially idea. like in terms of just a picture, because art is kind of just this stagnant one thing, I think consistency and a lot, because, you know, if you're posting one painting per week, that might not even be enough paint, you know, post work in progress shots every day, maybe, you know, or every other day um, sketching, you know, final products. But you know, it's different for videos. I try to do a video every week of a painting project or some creative project. But if you're just posting on Instagram, I think stories of work in progress, you know, process shots, time lapse. What about you, Fritz? Um, Because you're probably familiar with the, I mean, TikTok, the the TikTok, which is huge. The TikTok posting cadence um, these days is big, right? Three to five a day. um, If you can. Whoa. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, No, it's crazy. And it's like, from a brand perspective, right? That's impossible. Say, like, three impossible to hold. That's why it's like we well, <laughs> three a week. No way, man. Uh, yeah. Dude, no. As a is, as a creator, as, as a creator, you really need to establish your foothold, and you need to just put out a giant body of work. Um, and it, TikTok really rewards that. Um, really, so, in terms of like how the algorithm works and all that. Yeah, yeah. If you can just like be cranking out videos that are cool, uh, and if you can find something you re- you can repeat. You know, if you're if you're posting three and five, three to five videos and they're just getting they're just tanking, you know, step back, reevaluate. Right. right? Um, it's figure out what you, and then content once, sucks. Yeah, then. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, well, it's hard. Yeah, 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 it's tough. And you got to you got to take readings from it. You can't just assume what you're posting is going to hit every market. Right. Yep. Um, and so you need to learn. And that's why at the beginning it's so nice to post so much right because one you of those feeler, because saying, something something will hit and you can take learnings from that. right that's yeah. all right great anything else chris popcorn kernel in the back of your throat or cheeto fingers for the rest of your life cheeto Whoa. fingers bro cheeto fingers i hate the popcorn yeah in the yeah, yeah it's yeah. the worst i would definitely go cheeto makes I'll, me want to die dude if i, I just hate had it perpetual cheeto fingers yeah, i would saying. just be licking it's kind of nice on one finger just i like love cheeto fingers for some flavor yeah. not that's during a, covid though you gotta wash your hands one. before you start eating cheetos these days i'm back you know, i know but i'm just saying like i'll uh got I'll dirty take, hands i'll take the the the, the, the current really one. really yeah dude yeah. you like clean hands yeah clean hands all right what i got a little mix you should see my laptop dude it's disgusting yeah you don't want to see i have laptop. seen your laptop sticky just like Caked up smart food anymore. I've seen your PS4 controller. Uh, 
When's the right time to jump from your normal job to a full-time artist? Oof, I've talked oh, about this extensively. That's a really good I've talked really about really this extensively. Question. And yeah. I think people like dramatize it a lot where it's like, especially for me, because I've shared my experience so much. It's like people think that overnight I just started, quit my job, yeah. f- dropped out of school, which I did and started doing YouTube. It was like such a long and slow transition over two or three years. I went back to school. I was... The only thing that's consistent was going to three different universities is that I was always doing art on my own and mm-hmm. always making YouTube videos or recording and posting it. For the first three, four years, I was getting zero views, making no money, but throughout everything, working at a restaurant for two years, going to different art schools, living in the city, moving back home. Like I was always kind of doing this mediumly consistently. And then it picked up and then it slowly turned into making money. And then I was like, all right, I don't have to do these other things and I could work on this full time. But I don't think there's ever been a situation. Maybe TikTok is more intensely transitional like that. But I don't think there's any situation where people just wake up one day, quit their job and become social media successful. Right. Yeah. I was going to say, I mean, take this with a grain of salt. I have a full time job and I also are very successful in TikTok. Yeah. Um, And it is one of those things where you know, that's, it's a risk. Um, and so I always tell people, it's like when you're making money with your art, as soon as it starts to outpace, uh, what you're doing full time, that's when you should be really evaluating, um, whether or not what you're doing at full time, if that's holding you back as being an artist. Mm -hmm. Um, and the, the thing that always people always forget to take into account is health insurance. Fact that in factor that in your bills. US, dude. And it's like, Oh my I got a full time job. I have yeah. no 401k. Yeah. I have no benefits. See, I got nothing. And you know, as someone with you know, you're the same full time jobs. I have crazy benefits. That's why. That's why 401K. I got a job. Yeah, and I'm it's smart. Literally, uh, you guys are adults. Yeah, uh, but you know, the freedom of being an artist is great. And if you can really, if you could swing it, that's real as fuck um, right there. That is real. And if you can, uh, if you could swing it, if you can do it, and you save, uh, I always say, I always tell people, I don't know why people, I get this question a lot. Um, I always say just like if you can save up a year of living expenses, go for it. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. A full time job totally. will always be waiting for you a year later. No, what I say is like if you have a job that you like 50 percent of the time, keep it and actually just work harder for your other thing. It's like, you know, like you don't need to quit your job to become to, to paint 20 yeah. hours a week. It's like mm-hmm. you could keep your job and work harder and make time for your passion without like destroying your life or taking this like, enormous risk. Yeah. You know, it's like just just allocate more time, adjust. You can always find more time. You could wake up earlier. You can go to bed late. Yes, it's hard and it's easier said than done, but you know, you can adjust and you could give this, you know, pipe dream or creative desire a shot for six, seven, eight, a year plus while continuing your normal life with the constant paycheck. You know, I think that's smart. Anything else, Cressy? Are we speaking too loud? All right, let me get it back. We're going to end this. Whoa. Oh, he got it wide. Let's go. Oh, he did? Sick. Yeah. All right. Just thinking about a check change the art. Sorry, we're probably going to sign off with this podcast with Fritz and Tom. It's probably not going to come out for a month or two in <laughs> August, but we're, we're stockpiling. See you in December. We got the studio. And um, yeah, it's, it's been sick. great. It's the sick. vibes are immaculate. Yeah. So here. thanks for tuning in. Um, and Whoa, expect that's more. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, man, dude. I'm, Let's put them together. <laughs> Oh, man. Wait, it's got to wait for the delay. Yeah, wait for it. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. All right, yeah. Thanks, everyone. (laughs) Signing off. See you. All right, what's something else that's relevant we could talk about that's funny or... Trying to think about what's going on. I was trying to find a hot button political issue. Oh, I would not. (laughs) Dude, that's something, like, I need Chris to, like... Because, like, I never want to go political. Never. No, and no, I don't want, like, don't. because I'm not afraid to share my opinion. I just don't want it ever to, like, get through that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just am not, that's so not where I want to go. Chris, um, if it gets political, just start screaming. Yeah. <laughs> just unplug everything. <laughs> yeah. He needs yeah. to be one of the, like, on he front of me, is how he, he needs a mic. No, yeah, no. I need in to. every once in a while. I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I need to buy another mic. Actually, I have an XLR mic we could have hooked up. But where he can just go. Headphones. Let's not talk about that. Yeah, 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 yeah just yeah, yeah. straight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if like, there's like dead air, just yeah. just like choke or play some like <laughs> audio. <laughs> do, 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 yeah, what are they? Wait, what do, what are we... oh, this is bled into the audio. This is long. Is this just stock? Yeah, it's just stock. It comes on the, on the mixer? Yeah. 
Pre- Welcome Press back to Sloonverse. Ooh. I'm trying to fall in love tonight. Give him a round of applause, people. Oh, all Yo! Right, all right. Wait, can you show off the music? Okay. What, what, no, what else the, you got? The, what first, the first one you hit is still playing. Okay, well, we'll just write it up. We'll <laughs> <laughs> I don't hear I don't hear it. No, he turned the volume turned down. Oh, uh, okay, okay. You know what I want? I want like a really, maybe Victoria can do it when she gets in the pot. Just go, it's crypto, baby. <laughs> just have that as like a... <laughs> It's crypto, as bitch. Hot, as a hot key? Yeah. Right. What? Would that be funny? Just I like guess, but like, wait, they, exactly. any, any dead air, it's just, it's yeah. crypto, bitch. Crypto, bitch. <laughs> Anything about making money or income. Yeah. It's crypto, it, baby. Yeah, so <laughs> don't quit your job. It's crypto. I love crypto. I'm a big crypto supporter. All right, mm. let's hit the, uh, oh. 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 Yeah. Okay. Some funny All right, ready, jokes. ready, ready? Yeah. Knock, knock. Who's there? No, you have to get the punchline. <laughs> you can't. Like, no, no, that was perfect. You gotta get the punchline. No, no, no. That was actually bad yeah. funny. <laughs> Who's the, there? <laughs> the, the drums are the punchline. It's like the anti Hit it, hit it, hit it. Go. All right. Uh, why did the chicken cross the road? Why? To blow up on TikTok. <laughs> Yo, these are gonna be yeah, mad yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so a good. That's like a good. Crickets. Yeah, yeah that's crickets. So Does it? Did they have them labeled? Yeah. Okay, no, oh, that's genius! Like that's wow, funny. that's All sick. Right. That is so good. I don't. Uh, I'm trying to think. There's so many like popsicle. Oh, that's a great. Oh, uh, yeah, that is, good. that is good. That's classic. That's classic. I would really rip on like a, some random per- person I've never met. Just like no, they're no, no. talking. <laughs> they tell you their like... life story. <laughs> I feel like you need a you need a separate like yeah, like yeah. you need to be able to get a butt. Are you like a redditor? You're hard like because like oh Reddit yeah, is, like I Reddit like... started my career. Really? Mm-hmm. Can we go yeah. into that? Because Reddit is so I feel like the black sheep, if you will, almost the. It's been around for so long. It's so simple. The formula is the same. Yeah. Forums with upvoting, so it, it, it kind of gets away bullshit. And but it's like it's bigger than ever. And it, it, what is oh. it? What's the logo? It's the the, the front page new, of the internet. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, front, yeah. front page, page of the internet. internet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I it, think it's great. Yeah. I mean, Reddit was the front page of the internet for the longest time. And then Twitter had like a brief stint uh, where it took over again. Mm-hmm. Um, and then now TikTok is the front page of the internet. You think so? Yeah, Interesting. I think so. Um, I think everything really originates on TikTok and then you see it trickle into everywhere else. Um, but Reddit still has its, its merits, right? Um, it's a it's very so huge, it's huge. There's so many, like if I ever need to buy a product, I go to Reddit. Really? Mm-hmm. Cause that is where you find That's the smart. real reviews. Really? Uh, oh yeah. Wow. Like, if you're looking at podcast stuff, Reddit. Um, and Reddit was crazy. Reddit like really made my career. It's where what do you I mean? Started... You get, like what career? Yeah, well, my either. photography. <laughs> <laughs> what career? Yeah, you fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. shite. <laughs> 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 no, but like, um, like you posted a photo and it blew up and it yeah for yeah, Instagram yeah. like before TikTok. You're yeah, saying. before Instagram, before TikTok, before you were every... on Reddit really? in college, yeah. I was right? posting on Reddit in college. Holy I, I was like, I was one of those kids who just memed. Dude, I had, see, uh, like, so you're. You've been in it. Yeah, I'm OG in it. You got the it, full you know, story. Like way back. Um, and the Reddit was just one of those places where I really started to find um, where my work would resonate. And I found ways of, like, that was my first time writing for the internet to go viral. On mm. the um, and so that was my first foray into that. And, you know, I started posting my photos there. They blew up. Uh, they started getting... And he trickling into my Instagram. That's when I re- learned uh, how to cross promote across platforms. Wow, um, yeah. And that, you know, because of that, I was able to leverage into a job in New York City. And this is kind um, of before what, you know, this is like a standard thinking. But back then it was like, yeah, like back then, it, edge you know, or... you either had Instagram or YouTube. And my and Instagram was like almost nothing way back. Like we're talking about like 2016, 15. Yeah, 16, 17. Yeah, uh, yeah actually, yeah, 2015, because uh, 2015, 2016, uh, 2016 is when I went on my trip to Italy. I saved for a summer. I went to visit a buddy of mine. And just shot um, photos in the Italian Dolomites. Yeah, and that was like the like Instagram was the real big social media blow up. I feel like yeah, that maybe spawned everything else. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah, 
That's crazy, man. That is really back because like one of my main homies is like huge on Reddit, you know, really finds everything or just like on his phone will just scroll through like his subreddits that he's subscribed to and just like just for entertainment. And it's like not really many people are on it, but it, it really is like I don't want to say the most authentic, but it's like it really is filtered mm-hmm. yeah, where everything else Twitter, well, you, buy, you buy your watches off Reddit. I do buy watches off Reddit. I was going to say something quickly as, as you guys Rip are talking it. about this. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say Reddit and TikTok are not that different at all. Mm. And then not by like medium, but the way that you can like hyper niche things. Mm. And then you get like. Like the niche community. Yeah. Reddit yeah. doesn't have any of that like AI stuff going on where it kind of figures out who you are and what you want to watch. What I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think they're not that different in where you could literally search any key term and you're going to find hundreds of thousands of views or people who are doing that exact thing and talking right. about that thing today right um that being said i think reddit has a a longer track record of being like probably a little more well spoken just because it's been around for longer and it's also like yeah but but the way it's like the boomer of social media it's like insular like there's so it's so vast the number of topics that you can cover but like once you get in it it's like you're gonna find yourself in like five subreddits and like five things that are gonna show up on your for you page so I feel yeah. like they're pretty similar, but and also, what about like your jobs? You don't, you, you're both your jobs don't touch Reddit. Like you're not even in. Um, there's not even a, a creak, a, a whisper I, of Reddit. I used to. Um, uh, we used to at my old agency. We mm. would use a lot. Of, we would use Reddit a lot to learn. We would plant stuff on Reddit. Oh, we're like yeah. beta testing mm. almost. Yeah, uh, that and seeing the uh, Reddit's a great place to get a uh, temperature temperature check of your product, mm-hmm. your whatnot. You know, that see makes sense. see what people are talking about. It's a it's a relatively you know the sh- search engines kind of garbage, but like it's relatively mm. easy to figure mm-hmm. out a way to. Search I think that's stuff. true. The search it's very complicated because you have yeah. to go to a subreddit. You can't just type yeah. In keywords. The search, the search be, engine on I mean it removes you a little for people who have just never it's been on the the, platform, the learning curve on that platform is is tricky i mean oh, yeah. which makes it kind of similar to tiktok right the learning curve on tiktok is yeah. pretty big you can't really search well on because TikTok. it's almost the inverse like tiktok is fully ai you almost don't search you just watch you like and then through that experience it delivers you what mm-hmm. it thinks you want where reddit is almost the polar opposite but it's in the same vein you said something interesting we like now that you said this that, like research wise like I've never realized myself to do this, but Reddit is definitely the first place I go. And in a professional setting, even when we're like using talent, like we're going to do like a talent partnership or, Mm -hmm. you know, someone like these are like A or B list celebrity type people. Their Reddit page is a great place to go because that's where all of their like number one fans are going to be hanging out and talking about them and kind of figure out what's popping, what their track record has been like, what they are attracted to. We look at a lot of like fan art even like be wow. like, like, how is like, how can this inspire something that we're going to put in front of their fans? So it's like R&D deep research. It is. It, it's yeah, it is. Uh, and, you know, it's so funny because, you know, you can check all the boxes of all of the social channels. But like until you dive deep into it and you really strike that chord that's going to resonate with someone. Um, and again, like that's I talked about, like ideas being influenced by like Fritz or things that I see on the Internet. but there's also a lot of that too. It's like, what does Reddit have to offer that right. can that can like you know spark a cool idea That's about the people who really know what they're talking about or are talking about it a lot every single day? Right. Um. So I think people should be paying for this advice from you guys because this is like, again, I wanted to like tend to the beginner who like d- doesn't understand anything about social media, and you guys are the upper echelon of not only the professional business world and large companies, but also individual. So I think this has been extremely illuminating. Would you say so? Uh, everything I say is gold. So yeah. <laughs> I talk to him about this stuff constantly. <laughs> I know. So. But that's, that's what I'm saying. It's like, this is your lives. Yeah. But I'm trying to like, day. I'm trying to dissect it and bring it to like the average person. Cause even me who was in this world and friends with you, it's still like you guys were saying stuff that I was like, whoa, that's crazy. Well, it's a it's a weird world to be in, you know? Totally. It's one of those that you can't just uh you're not gonna fully understand immediately. Mm-hmm. You know, there's so many nuances, there's so many so trends, much nuance, bro. There's so many people uh to know about, to meet, and it's like 
there's so much going behind the scenes that it's hard to figure it out on your own mm -hmm. until you fully jump in and then you learn slowly you're like oh people get verified because they have publicists mm -hmm. and it's like mm -hmm. they My and it's issue. like and it's like they pay these publicists 20 30 grand to right. get them to right. get these articles, articles and yep. then and it's like and that's how you pay to get verified that's right why like I'm not that's verified, bro, yeah I don't have any fucking articles well and it's like that's the thing it's you want to pay someone 20 grand? I would, bro. The term, you know, getting it's the like four badge grand. is like a huge business. Move. And that's, that's the other thing about journalism. Just find some journalists and pay them a grand. You mm -hmm. know, like you, I don't, I don't know if those numbers work out. But right, like, yeah. Journalism, but you know, saying, sometimes yeah. journalism is pay to play. You mm -hmm. know, we do it in advertising. Um, mm -hmm. It's it's a part, it's how journalists make money, mm -hmm. right? So um, there, there's a lot of weird, uh, no matter what industry you look at, there's always weird secrets behind it. You mm -hmm. could say the same thing about pharmaceuticals. You could say the same thing totally. about insurance. There's always some weird stuff going on behind and it's, the scenes. It's, it's money based almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, money exactly. Driven. You know, and it's and for the most part, I I don't want to speak for Tom, but like you know, we even in my professional life, I always just try to tell authentic stories, and mm -hmm. that's what's going to sell the the most, right? Mm -hmm. and, and that's so, what it's like. You don't need to you know put on a mask for it. It's like you're just yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, you know, for me personally, and also what I do. At work is I just try to bring my clients to the best light in the most authentic and fun way possible. And that's that's sort of how you make uh, the social media game work. Quote it, clip it. What about you, Tom? Chat, clip it. What do I got going on in my life? No, but like, is this what, my plug? Yeah, no, this is your plug. This is your ender. Like, what do you, um, it, it, again, to like Bob White counter cat. To the people not in the world, like, any advice or like what some, some, some. Yeah, some advice, some like insight into getting into social media or, or having a passion or, or why to start your own brand or like joining some niche community and making content. Um, We're talking about these really weathered high yeah. up people, but like Tom's just to like, the normal don't. everyday people. Yeah, Tom, no, I would never. <laughs> what I think is honestly true is like everything in social media, every single thing. How many people want to become a DJ every day of the week in the United States? How many mm -hmm. people want to start a clothing company? Mm -hmm. It's the most saturated market it's ever been. Just the sheer, the exposure, like the accessibility to do those things has never been higher. So there's just thousands of people doing it. But And so it's harder to become successful in these things because of the sheer amount of people. It's hard to be different. It's hard to be unique. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't try. Yeah. Y your intention, this is my opinion. I said this a lot. Your intention, if you want to start social media or start a brand or start a company, it should be because you really enjoy it and you're passionate about it. I don't want to yep. sound like a broken record because if you set yourself up in that realm, you'll never fail. If you mm -hmm. want to blow up, if you want to make money, if you want to make white claw videos coming out your butt and yep. make money, like you, chances are you'll fail because mm -hmm. you're not going to meet those expectations. And then you'll try really hard and you won't do what you want to do. But if you're just really passionate about it, you want to share. I just wanted to document my work and share it just for me, as in like, I was that kid five years ago looking at the artists like with time lapses, I wanted to do that. Mm -hmm. I think that's the name of the game. Yeah, uh, my ender is gonna be a little different. I think that um, <laughs> <laughs> what you said was nice, but uh, <laughs> oh, no, it's not that, it's just balance. like, we gotta get my thing is like, you're gonna learn so much from just listening, mm. like, I think there's something, I don't know what the saying is, but there's something about like moving in silence and like how powerful that can be. Wow. Um, and I don't know, it goes something like that. But oh, the idea oh, I know being, what it is. It's, uh, it's work silently and some, uh, and let your, your, your product speak for you or something. Yeah. Like I don't, that. I don't know what it was. It was just some, some about that. But like the idea <laughs> being like you, like, like you can speak a lot louder in like silence. And what that, what I mean by that is like, you can just absorb, 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 and you can use that to your advantage. Because mm. like, if you're talking over people, like it ends up being like, you're the only one talking in the room. Like you go into a meeting, it's like, you're, you're running this thing. Wow. In certain cases you have to be, but there's other times when like, you need to take the back seat and start listening to people and absorb that information. So you can take that information elsewhere. Internalize and it. And use it exactly within yeah. what you want to do. Yeah. Like I think a lot of what I do is just like paying attention to people. Interesting. Like just pay attention. Paying and attention like, that maybe internalizing it and you get inspired by, yeah, for by sure. listening, I, by observing, by I don't even exposing mean, yourself. I don't even mean coming up with like an idea. I just mean even the way that people carry themselves. Like mm. uh th Dude. that is that's like what a lot of like the world is, is like people 
do well for themselves because they they do a certain thing well or they act a certain way. Wow. And I think that's just that has a lot to do with uh, like I think this also goes back to like working from home too. It's like mm. we're navigating, for instance, a work meeting and you're on Zoom is much different than when you're in a room with someone when you're sitting face to face with them. Like Valid, if you start yeah. to talk over someone on a Zoom meeting three times in a row, everyone's gonna be like, that's that dude that didn't shut up. Yeah. Like that's that guy that like would not give someone else the time of day to speak. And that has never spoke louder than over the last like year and a half is like that one person in the Damn. call that's like, yeah, dude, right. like give give another person a chance to talk. So I think there is a lot of power in just like absorbing and listening and then make using that information and using like the insights that you've gained from other people and taking it elsewhere. That is my ender. Flip it. Quote it. Well, Hit I think it. that was insightful. I mean, interesting to me. And again, this is, you know, we're talking about artists, but they are in the business side of the art world and content. So I think it was super interesting, especially relevant to my life. So, that was the one thing I was going to say, too. Because it's like, you know, it's like what I do, but I'm not in your world. I'm on the, I'm on the opposite. And I'm, you know, it's like your companies are almost paying me to do advertisement. You know, it's like yeah. I'm on the receiving end where yeah. you're both, Fritz. But it's like what, super interesting to kind of juxtapose. these. What, one of my favorite things about our friendship. Sorry to cut you off, but I, <laughs> I you are a perfect example. Not you, but like our friendship is a per- perfect example where. I'll take information from someone and then I turn around and I feed it right to you. You know, I'll get off the phone with someone and I'm like, Sam is going to love this. I remember when I called you. You did it. it You did the Gary V, like the new workshops or whatever. You like, I don't, I can't, I, you did a bunch. There's been a bunch of situations. The one time where it was even just like, we need to get your YouTube channel set up with like the playlists. Yeah. And that was just like, yeah like how like simple mundane yeah. things where you visit a youtube channel like we we're talking about yep. mckinnon or whatever like Peter McKinnon, like, yep. like you visit his channel it's like wow it looks so dope you don't really pay attention to like the minutia of, mm-hmm. of what's going on but like there's actionable things that you can do to make your work better and your channel better totally or just like to like uh to expedite viewership or what you, you're trying to look for it's totally true yeah i think it's so valid i think this is a valuable conversation i'm gonna re-listen to this i feel like i blacked uh, out not actually, but it's really hot in here. It did get hot. Yeah. So this is midsummer. Like this is like June. What is it? Fifteenth. It's not even summer yet. Uh, I think June twenty first. It's also summer. like eight it's p.m. But it's, it's probably like eighty two degrees in here. It's really hot. I'm like eighty percent humidity. Chris is dying in the back here, but <laughs> I can't wait until Chris has his own mic. I'm gonna come back and yeah, when Chris yeah. has the no, mic. No, we'll have so you we back. Chat. I think this is this this could be like monthly. Monthly conversations with two industry plants. I don't know what would we would call you guys. Industry Phantoms? plants. Like, what, where what? is this coming? I'm trying from? to have like some like dickhead. Con- like, well, what would you label yourself in two words? Like, yikes. You know, like a funny nickname. You know, I'm trying to think of a title. Like, Slu mm-hmm. talks to two assholes <laughs> <laughs> in the industry. Or like, At, cheaters. Yeah. Social media <laughs> cheaters. <laughs> That's funny. No, ad, but it, you should ad, check them out. Ad, Follow them. We'll put the freaks. we'll put the yeah ad freaks. We'll ad put freaks. the social media. But it is um I feel like unique conversation. I feel lucky. I mean, we're homies, Tom. But like, it's crazy back end information that the average person doesn't understand. I mean, doesn't know. But to actually maintain that job, it's it's crazy. I mean, it's a crazy world. Social media is so lucrative that people don't understand. But it's also fickle, right? It's like ever changing. You have to be on top. Like I said in the beginning, you have your fangs and the zeitgeist of pop culture. I mean, we're old. That's crazy. We're 26 years old. Yeah. But I love the zeitgeist. But you're still, you're fucking, you know, mad hatters. You're the oracle of these things. You know, fucking steering huge businesses. You call me so many names that I just would never even. But it's it's, it's perfect. To say. You guys are Bowser. (sighs) All right, we're going to end it there. Episode two, Sluniverse. That's really epic. Thanks for, yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah. That's a round of applause. Sick. Thanks, guys. Sick. Follow Tom and Fritz on Instagram. Fritz has a crazy awesome TikTok also. I'm trying to get in the TikTok game. Thank you. All I right. told you I'll help you with it.